Okay, as you can see, I've been cutting out some between our breaks here, videotaping this. And what I want to show now is I'm going to cut out these pieces here. And they're going to be a little bit more complex because you can see I've already cut out all the little pieces all around them. Most of them anyway, there's one here and left. But they're very thin walls and these are the kind of things where you need to be careful when you're cutting. Because it'll be easy to cut through the wall and if you do, you start to weaken what's left. You can see all this wood here is what's supporting the overall structure. And that can only get so weak before it begins to fail. And you don't want it to fail, you don't want to cut through, it, it just messes up the whole thing. So we're going to cut through, cut these pieces out, and we'll just see how it goes. It's going to be a little bit more delicate than uh, most of the other stuff, but it'll be interesting. Here we go. And then we'll zoom in. That's where we want to be, right there. All right. Speed up a little bit as you go along here, so this is pretty straight. Plywood's holding together pretty good. It's been pretty strong <clears throat> throughout. But there's still a lot of thin pieces and I just don't trust it. Oh, gotta stop for a second. The blade, I didn't tighten this, uh, this finger knob, finger tightening knob, holds the blade in place and then you put the tension on it. And sometimes I don't tighten it. Let me back up. What happens there is the blade, this, the finger tightening knob that I use to put the lock the blade in isn't tightened enough and it comes loose and when it does that then it, it pops loose from the uh, housing here that's holding it in place the rocker arm so I reduced the tension and reset it and tighten it a little bit more the more I tighten it the more difficult it is to uh, loosen and so I try to find a, a nice balance between tightening it enough and over tightening it got a real thin wall coming up here. I'm going to have to be real careful. I just really don't want to cut through it. That's like having a paper thin piece of wood sitting there unsupported hanging out. So I'm going to make this wall a little bit thicker. And again, the result's not going to make any difference. It's still going to have the same impact. It's supposed to look like water splashing off the fish at the same time seeing the side of the fish. The bass. This is a bass. The bass is not a regular fish. I used to go after bass. When you use plastic worms and lures going after bass, you're not fishing, you're more you're hunting. It's a fascinating way to enjoy the outdoors. Not any good at it, but I enjoy it. I like to talk about the time I was in a bass tournament one time. And I was in a boat with this guy. He won big bass, which was the largest fish of the day caught. And he also won the tournament with the most weight, the most fish, total weight won him the tournament. So he got big bass, first place, and then won the tournament itself. And I didn't put a single fish in the boat. Of course, I was pretty new at it, and I was just on the tournament as a large, but still, that tells you something about my skills as a fisherman. They're not really that great. 
but I do enjoy it. Once in a while I do catch one. And catching bass is just really satisfying. Alright. Got that piece cut out. Alright, I'm going to cut out a little bit more and then we'll come up and we'll do this part together up here. This is going to be really interesting to do because it gets real delicate. And that's the face. Even though the whole thing is busy and you end up with a um, uh, a piece that looks good and uh, the cuts don't have to be super precise everywhere, they do need to be cut up here because the face does draw the eye. And as people look at this, they're going to see this area more than anything else and everything else will be drawn into it. So the eyes and this sort of thing need to look good. A little error with the eyeball and the thing looks like it's cross-eyed or something. Of course, with one eye, it's hard to be cross-eyed, but you know what I mean. It just looks silly. All right, we'll pick that up in a minute. Okay, as we jump around to different places that I'm cutting, we'll be coming in and out. I'm going to show this one. This is kind of an intricate piece here that we have to do. You'll see there's a piece here that's already cut out along the wall here and then this piece is going to come along real close. It's the kind of thing you got to be careful. I've already cut out a piece here and one of my drill holes is appearing there so I'm just going to cut through that and come on down and around and back up. The trick is going to be not cutting through this wall. Let's see how we do. I'm going to zoom in a little bit and watch it close up. Okay. I get close to the end of this cut of this whole piece I'm trying to be more and more careful with the stuttering that it happens occasionally with these blades when they catch because the more this thing hops up and down the more opportunity I have to break some so here comes this first curve I need to break come through here I'm just really taking my time. You can see how close I am to that wall. I'm going to come back when I actually get even closer. There's that drill hole I talked about. That's going to disappear now as we cut through. What I think I'm going to do is I'm going to back all the way up and then come back around to this piece coming the other direction. All this gray area is just going to go away. I'm just going to cut over and now start down this back side. Another turn. Now I've gone outside my white, but when I moved it a little bit, shifted it, that's okay. That's okay. Now we're going to go along this thin wall. This is where i got to be really careful. I'm just a hair's breadth away from cutting through. Oh good, now the paper's coming out, so I'm going to lose track of where I'm at. I'm erring on the side of caution and just Staying deep, 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 deeper. All right, that's enough. That's enough. Let's back up and see if we can't get all this out of the piece. I've got the door open to the outside and it's been raining. And the insects are uh, flying around the light. Okay, you can see how thin that got. Right there. But it came out okay. That's not real thick wood, and I got this long piece sticking out here that I gotta be careful not to break off. 